I'll be comparing these three 30 caliber cartridges on four different targets to see if velocity is really everything on this episode of Ultimate Barrier Testing. What we have first is this giant pine tree that needs to come down. No, I'm just kidding. That would be cool though. We actually have a pine tree in the form of a 6x6 piece of pressure treated lumber. Two shots from each cartridge and it'll be followed by a 3 8 inch piece of mild steel. Oh, that was loud, which should hopefully tell us which one actually wins this test. Hopefully, but on to the 308. Alright, two good shot placements. The only reason that that one was so far down is because the freaking piece of steel shifted on me. I need to put a wedge in there or something so it doesn't shift. But anyway, let's check out and see. Yeah, they definitely went through, obviously, but let's check it. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys, it actually went through 3 eighths of an inch of mild steel after it went through. Obviously, a piece of 6x6 six six lumber, you're seeing the same thing as me. The other one got stopped, but that is absolutely freaking nuts. All right, let's see if this piece of wood hold. Okay, I think I'm gonna need a second one. All right, T, there we go. I think we are looking good to go. Two good shots, about the same spacing as the 308, but we are losing these wood wedges fast. This one got blown apart. Well, not blown apart, it just got split in half. But anyway, let's check out the 6x6. Six six. I believe both of them went through and... Ooh. Okay, so one of them went straight through just like the 308, and then the other one was definitely tumbling there. Man. 308 and the 30 6 are pretty much identical so far. I rotated the plate and I also shifted the wood around. So I hope the bullets don't impact the other ones, but I also can't guarantee what the bullets are going to do. But uh, I think we're good to go. Definitely seemed to hit the hardest, but I'm kind of nervous where I place that second shot. All righty, let's see what happened. Okay, there are two shot placements, and I do not see... Ooh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so uh, one of them got stopped pretty cold. I mean, it doesn't even look that much deeper than the 308, and then the other one went straight through... I think that was... Oh, yeah, right by the 30-06. Guys, it's a freaking tied ball game right now. Okay, but let's get this trash out of here, get the uh, steel out of there, and flip this bad boy around. Ooh, okay, it never gets old. I think that's looking good. <laughs> Apparently six inches is still too long for ideal penetration. Wait, what? But I'm thinking that at least one of these cartridges has a chance of going through six inches of sand? Maybe, I don't know, but this three-quarter inch piece of plywood should tell us for sure. I think we're good to go. Based on previous 308 sand tests, things aren't looking too good. Well, that was a little different. Please, please, please. Oh, I can already tell what's on the back. Oh my. Oh, and we're losing a tiny bit of sand there. Definitely no penetration from the 308. And just to make sure, definitely no penetration. I was just hoping for some better results, but let's see if the other two can do something. Good to go for the 30-06. They're all knocking over the freaking box today. And let's turn it around. Oh yeah, it's already turned around and there is absolutely nothing on the back. Let's check out the front though and see what happened. Okay, I mean, good shot placement. Just nothing happened. All right, on to the 300 Win Mag. If any of them have a chance of going through, I would think it'd be this one, but who knows? I don't know anything anymore. So we were only two for three on the box being knocked over, but that one looked a little crazier. Okay, there was a shot right there. I yeah, that was a shot right there. Now let's turn it around and see what we get. Absolutely nothing still. Although it did blow the freaking top off of this box. Let's see if we can find any remnant. Oh, there's a piece of lead. Okay, I don't know if that's from the 300 Win Mag or what, but... Uh, I'm guessing the bullet got shredded up pretty good. Also, I lost quite a bit of sand on that one. It kind of looks like if you had shot the Sandman or something. <laughs> anyway, we're still tied up somehow. 
Let's grab these, save them for later. Keep the three quarter inch piece of plywood in there since it's still good. Well, actually, I'm not gonna use it this time. Let's flip this bad boy back around. Hopefully knock off some of the sand. Okay, and I think we're good to go. Well, actually, we got one more thing to do. Okay, now we're good to go. And our next target is Terry. Wait, Terry, you're not the next target. Oh, wait, did I forget to do the point blank shoot? All right, Terry, cover your ears. <laughs> Terry, I know the cartridges took advantage of you, buddy, but. Which one do you think was the best? 308, seriously. Well, I guess size doesn't always matter, huh? And speaking of, we have one and a half inch thick pieces of concrete. They may be little, but they are mighty. And I will be backing it up with a quarter inch piece of mild steel, just as a precautionary measure. But do you think any of these cartridges have a chance of getting through both of these? Yeah, I know with the M80A1, but I mean with just regular FMJ bullets, you think it'll go through? Oh, sometimes I wish the targets would just set themselves up, and by sometimes I mean every time I have to walk down here. Absolutely devastating results, so, but let's check out the quarter inch piece of mild steel. It actually poked out, that was actually the M80A1 that I was talking about, poked out the jacket, but anyway, it barely left a crater on the quarter inch piece of mild steel. Let me focus it, there we go. Look at that right there. All right, 30-06. Oh my gosh, did you see that quarter inch plate? No, it was already off balance. That block got absolutely shredded as well, but let's check out the quarter inch piece of mild steel. Ooh, okay, so somehow it hit the same. Oh wait, no it didn't, Never mind. The uh, 308 just got covered. Anyway, that did a little bit bigger of a crater than the 308, but really not any deeper. Oh man, the 300 Win Mag is our last hope, huh? All right, here we go. Absolutely devastating as well. Let's check out the quarter inch piece of my, ooh. I guess that that one hit a little higher than I had hoped, but uh, even still, it barely did anything more. Or, well, it really didn't do anything more than the 30-06 or the 308. Guys, I hate to say it, but it's still a tie ball game. All right, you need to move, and you also need to move. All right. Okay, and long live Steel Sled 4.2. I think we're good to go. Mild Steel is next on the menu, and maybe this half inch mild steel plate will help us separate the men from the boys, though I'm not 100% sure. Alrighty, we are getting there. Alright, that's about as tight as it'll get. I think this will probably be the first real test on uh, Steel Sled 4.2 here. What's the verdict, Terry? Can you see? No? Okay, well, uh, it's pretty de- Ooh, definitely did not go through. Let's see if we could get the pinky in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that definitely fits the pinky test, but uh, obviously it did not go through. But it's kind of weird shot placement, so let me uh, flip that around. All right, that's looking better. Watch me just center it right on this one next time. I wouldn't put it past me. Okay, for a second I thought it went through, but I actually, th yeah, definitely did not go through. Let's see if it passes the, ooh. Okay, that might be a little bit bigger than the 308. I mean, it felt pretty much the same, but definitely passes the pinky test. Will the 300 Win Mag go through, though? We'll just have to find out. The thing is, I accidentally bumped the elevation dial, so uh, hopefully it's on. <laughs> A little word from the wise, if you're gonna buy a 300 Win Mag and shoot a bunch of rounds through it, 
don't buy an ultra light one like I did. It absolutely sucks to shoot from the bench. But that is some pretty decent shot placement, if I do say so myself. And it looks, oh yes, the 300 Win Mag went straight through the half inch mild steel plate. Now the important thing is let's see if it passes the pinky test. Oh, not quite as much as the other two. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but didn't pass the pinky test. Still, we better go back to the bench and do a little bit more investigation. Wait a second, where did those come from? And how did this one inch piece of mild steel get here? Well, it'd be a real shame if I let these go to waste, huh? Man, this is a heavy piece of steel. Oh, and it's huge. All right, we have a date with destiny. And I don't mean that Saturday night special either. Let's see what we got. Okay, so funny thing is that was actually from a 308 test I did before. Exact same bullet, so I don't know why I'm shooting it again other than velocity. But anyway, let's see. I don't see any daylight through there. Let's check it out a little bit further. Ooh, yes. Exact same results as last time. I guess that's to be expected. All right, on to the 30-06. Reunited once again, a match made in heaven. Quite a bit faster than the 308 that time around. That one hit a little low. Let's try it again. Okay, these aren't match grade bullets. They're not accurate at all. I think that one hit off to the side maybe somewhere. It definitely didn't hit the plate though, but let's face it, we're all here for the 300 Win Mag. There we go, that one connected. Now let's see what ha- Ooh, that's a much bigger hole than the 308. I don't know what to expect here. Let's check it out. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. If it would focus, look at that freaking tip. That's about as close as you could get to going through, a, through an inch of mild steel. I mean, it went through technically, but obviously lost all of its energy. Freaking insane. I guess that means the 30-06 wouldn't went through though, but uh, we better head back to the bench. I can just imagine hiding behind a one inch thick solid steel wall and thinking, nothing's getting through this. Then hearing, slowly turning around to see this at eye level. I think I would shit my pants. I mean, literally 50 feet a second more and that probably would have went through. Anyway, it's time to grind. Not that it really matters because we already know the 300 Win Mag one, but the absolute deepest point on the 308 was 543 thousandths, and the absolute deepest point on the 30 06 was 544 thousandths. Both were extremely close to shearing through that mild steel plate. Don't worry, I didn't forget about velocity. Obviously, with how much powder the 300 Win Mag is burning, it should be the highest velocity. But what's crazy is that the 308 and the 30 6 were neck and neck. And the 30 6 is literally burning 30, almost 35% more powder than the 308 in this case. Freaking nuts. And no, there were no pressure signs on either of them. Surprisingly, though, the velocity of the 300 Win Mag really didn't help it out until it came to the steel. But realize that the 300 Win Mag has about the same velocity at 170 yards as the other two do at 50 yards. Just something to keep in mind. Thank you. 